Greetings, everyone. I hope you and yours are safe and well. It is my pleasure to virtually welcome you to Women Changing the Course Toward Water Sustainable Fashion. Just last month, we celebrated both International Women's Day and World Water Day. In honor of these important celebrations, I'd like to borrow a quote from Melinda Gates, co-chair of the Gates Foundation, who said, investing in women means investing in the people who invest in everyone else. That's an idea that we value at the State Department and are working hard to apply to achieve goals in the critical areas of climate, COVID-19 response, and economic development. It is also why we are so excited to support this event today through our initiative, Providing Opportunities for Women's Economic Rise, or POWER. POWER links American businesswomen and women around the world through programs curated by our diplomatic missions overseas and private sector partnerships to support the successful participation of women in the economy. Women's economic empowerment is a priority for the U.S. government, now more than ever. The President's trade agenda focuses on promoting equitable global economic growth with a strong emphasis on the economic empowerment of women and underrepresented communities. According to the World Economic Forum, women represent 40% of the world's workforce, hold 27% of global wealth, and are the owners of four in every 10 small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, in emerging markets. And we know that SMEs are the work engines of every economy, including our own. We need to embrace the opportunities women already provide as we think of advancing economic cooperation and addressing climate change. From the production of cotton, to the garment factory floor, to the business enterprises, the fashion industry is an excellent example of a sector where women's leadership and ingenuity are shaping the future of business opportunities and water conservation. Today, it is estimated that the fashion industry uses 2% of all fresh water globally. That's enough to provide drinking water to 110 million people for a year. Cotton, specifically, is one of the most water-intensive crops in the world. Women account for 70% of the cotton planting and 90% of the handpicking in India, for example, exposing them to chemicals used in its production. Adoption of environmentally sustainable approaches and innovation, such as biotech cotton, reduces the use of water and chemical pesticides by more than 40%. Women entrepreneurs and business leaders in the fashion industry are pushing for these innovative solutions as they are uniquely positioned to be influential advocates, especially in water stewardship. The pressure COVID-19 and climate change, among other global challenges, continue to exacerbate these issues and are disruptive to the textile and apparel industries. But we know there is hope because the leaders and innovators we need to address these challenges are here today, all of you. You are pioneering sustainable fashion and addressing water stewardship and security across the textile and apparel industries. One of those pioneers is Rubana Haq, head of Bangladesh's Garment Manufacturers Association. Her work, especially to develop the women she employs, is bold, visionary, and good business. In the United States, across Asia, and around the world, more women are becoming leaders in textiles and fashion, promoting new innovative practices and launching their own businesses. The benefit of this rising participation is clear. When we increase the number of women in the labor force, whether in fashion or other professions, women reinvest in their communities and economies grow. Today's series of panels will explore how women can take charge in moving the fashion industry further towards greater water sustainability. In closing, let me thank you all for being here and for your passion, innovation, and investment 
in women and sustainability in the fashion industry. I look forward to seeing the ways in which we can promote both water security and women's empowerment through this action network.